Right, I was looking at this tree fern and sort of trying to work out how long I'd had it now. And I was thinking in my head, uh, maybe four or five years, and then I sort of looked at the growth. So the growth rate of these, uh, you could say roughly an inch a year. Um, so I looked at the growth rate and I thought, hmm, there's about six or seven inches of growth from when I bought it, which is this level to up to here so yeah it's could, probably a good maybe seven or eight inches so i thought oh maybe it's a, i've had it longer than i thought and literally the next day on my on the wife's facebook memories picture came up of when these were delivered and it was six years ago so if we say an inch a year that'd give us six inches but in fact it's been a little bit more because that's probably I should have got the tape measure really to be exact but I'm saying that's eight inches so that's done quite well and when I first got this I did have it the other side of the garden before I knew better which was in pretty much full sun and I did end up moving it over this side and no ill effects from movement they do move quite well they have surprisingly big root systems to stabilize them but um yeah suffered no no damage from moving it and uh, yeah, sort of surpassed what I was expecting. Like I say, we say an inch a year, it's probably done an inch and a half a year, so not bad there. And not bad considering it's been pretty much unprotected all winter. I did on a couple of the really coldest nights, just put a fleece cloth all over the leaves. Never really tuck anything in the crown itself. And uh, yeah, the leaves have pretty much stayed, I won't say perfect, but good green. The only ones that did take the damage were the centre leaves, which sort of unfurled late summer, so they were a lot more tender, so they took the damage. So these ones have pretty much browned off. Still a little bit of green in them, but yeah, definitely the, uh, the early flush from last year still looking really good. Um... So, I really need to keep on top of the watering on these now, especially on windy days when it's going to dry out, a sunny windy day, even when it's cool. They're going to want plenty of water, so I have got this on a drip system and you can see the little drip head in there. So I'll, I'll give that at least uh, five minutes, at least once a day, depending on how if we've had any rain or whether it's been sort of warm and sunny. But anyway, so let's have a look in the in the top here. So the, like I say, we had a, a late flush last year, so it's, it's not a totally open crown at all. I've got some recent fronds come out, but looking inside here, we can see there's plenty of knuckles or crow's ears ready to unfurl in there. I'll not go around and count them because it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but there's plenty, plenty to come and feeling really good and hard, not too early because to, actually tonight is going to get quite cool, not quite a point where we're going to get frost, but it's going to go down to about three degrees tonight, which is the coolest night we've, we've had for probably a, a month or so. So I will be keeping an eye on the, my weather apps to make sure it doesn't suddenly change in possible frost. Because if we do get a possible frost, then there's a couple of tender things I would probably fleece over that have got new growth on them. But um, yeah, the, the knuckles on here are not start to unfurl enough to, to worry about sort of a light frost. I, I think that's not going to cause that any issues whatsoever. So yeah, if you're wondering sort of growth rate wise of a of your your tree tree ferns um it's going to depend a lot on location again location and watering but if you've got the conditions right you probably could get two inches a year rather than the standard answer of one inch a year and i have underwater this in the past but again before 
I knew better so now on a drip system so easy um yeah so let me know if you've uh, had any extraordinary growth on your tree ferns and you can beat an inch and a half a year growth I'm sure there's uh, some of you out there that have managed to get more than that I'm sure there's many many people out there have got less than that but again it's all about conditions and watering right we'll leave it there thanks for watching